Are you considering having an aesthetic procedure performed? Confused by all the information out there? Welcome to It's a Young Thing, where Nurse Paula Young arms you with the knowledge on all things cosmetic and aesthetic. And now, Nurse Paula Young. Hey everyone, this is Nurse Paula and we're into episode number two for It's a Young Thing. And today we're going to be talking about what a medical spa is. You know, it doesn't matter what corner of the world you're in, there just seems to be medical spas and aesthetic clinics pretty much everywhere you go. Seems like there's one on every corner. There's an eye doctors, dental offices, internist offices, plastic surgery offices, dermatology offices. It seems like every doctor seems to have a medical spa these days. So what a medical spa really is, they're spa-like services meant for beauty, but they have some sort of medical grade product or equipment that they use. So let's take a a day spa, for example. And you can get microdermabrasion and some light chemical peels and day spas. But once they start going a little bit deeper uh, in medical nature, then they pretty much become a medical spa. And the number one product that usually makes a spa or a clinic into a medical spa, believe it or not, is Botox or neurotoxins. That's usually the number one product practitioners turn to to start doing their aesthetic training and their aesthetic knowledge. It's a great product. It provides great relief. It's easy. It's in. It's out. There's no downtime. And it seems to be the go-to product. Now, here's the thing with medical spas. It varies by state. Um, if you're in the United States, there really is a huge difference just say even from Pennsylvania to New Jersey. Um, Anybody can really own a medical spa, but in some states, there has to be either a physician on site or there has to be a medical director that oversees the medical spa. So as I said, it's really important to find out the ownership of a medical spa in the hierarchy of control. Who's treating you? How much experience have they had? How much training have they had? Who's overseeing them? You know, what policies do they have in place to make sure that your care is going to be monitored and managed? God forbid anything ever happened. What do they have to back that up to take care of you? There are a lot of things you have to consider because, you know, the number one thing that you have to remember about medical spas is the majority of these procedures are not covered by medical insurance. And a lot of people really go into this thinking that they are. Now, there are a few procedures um, that can be covered by under some insurance code. But the majority of the things that you have done in a medical spa are on a cash-based basis. So you really want to do your homework on your provider. Experience and training is really important. And you really want to make sure that your provider is an expert in his or her specialty. So like I said, what do you want you to do is just, you know, you're thinking about a procedure, you go out there, you get on the web, you look around, you see who provides these procedures, you know, call them, see if they have complimentary consultations. You know, you absolutely don't have to pay for a consultation nowadays. A lot of practices are really getting smart and they're starting to realize, hey, you know, I'm going to offer complimentary consultations because an informed patient is a happy patient. You have less errors, you have less problems when a patient truly is performed. I know informed rather. I I know in our medical spa, we offer complimentary consultations regardless of whether or not that patient decides to come back to us for their procedure or not, I know walking out of my place that they know the ins and outs of the procedure that they're thinking on having performed. You know, knowledge is power. So definitely do your homework, schedule a couple consultations with a couple clinics or medical spas or doctors in your area, and you really will get the feel of what the place is like, what the people are like, what their skill level is like. You know, it's pretty much like an interview process. So just, just go into it knowing, hey, I got to interview this person that's going to be doing this procedure on me because, you know, it really is a medical procedure, even though it's being done for beauty purposes or aesthetic purposes. It really is a medical procedure and it really should be taken into consideration that, you know what, I got to really think about this. So that's all I have for you today on It's a Young Thing. Uh, Make sure you subscribe to my podcast on iTunes. That way you won't miss a single episode once it's released. And you can also download them from SoundCloud or go to our website at youngmedicalspa.com. All of our episodes will be listed there. And if you know anybody who you think might find this information useful, 
please share. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time on It's a Young Thing. You've been listening to It's a Young Thing with Nurse Paula Young. If we didn't discuss a topic you're interested in today, be sure to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes so when we do, you don't miss it. The cosmetic aesthetic world can be confusing. We're here to arm you with quality, truthful information from our many years of experience. For even more info, youngmedicalspa.com. This has been a Steve Mittenin social media creation. Steve Mittenin social media.com. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this podcast disclaim any liability in connection with the material expressed herein. This information should not be substituted for individual medical counseling. Information on this podcast is not intended to diagnose or prescribe treatment for any condition. It is intended for educational purposes only, based on the research and experience of Young Medical Spa. Discussion of specific treatments is done only in an office visit directly with the patient. Contact our office to schedule.